กลับมาพบกันอีกแล้วในค่ะกับ Min งสนาจารีนะคะก็วันนี้เนี่ยจะเป็นช่วงใหม่นะคะ Snake Snake Fish Fish นะคะก็วันนี้เนี่ยมิงจะมาแชร์ทิปส์นะคะแล้วก็ประสบการณ์นะคะกับเพื่อนๆว่าทำยังไงเนี่ยเราถึงจะพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้คล่องขึ้นนะคะก็แต่ว่าคลิปนี้เนี่ยมิงไม่ได้จะเป็นคนแนะนำทิปส์นะคะเพราะว่าภาษาอังกฤษก็ไม่ได้ดีขนาดนั้นนะคะแต่ว่าคนที่จะแนะนำทิปนะแบบคนที่จะแนะนำทิปส์นะคะก็คือแฟนมิงเองค่ะ he's going to actually share his uh, tips and experience with you guys so actually if you're ready just uh, go ahead and listen to what he's gonna say go ahead the first tip is you should be able to recognize the unique sound of foreign language you may think that t letter t is pronounced t D is pronounced D all the time, but it is not right. In American English, many times Americans will almost pronounce as a like D, a T sound, very soft, and almost not uh, pronounced. For example, you will pronounce, you will uh, read the, uh, you know the sports drink Gatorade, but when you read it one by one, you will sound like Gatorade. But Americans will not pronounce as Gator A. They will pronounce as Gator A. You know, actually, you Thai, see that? Thai people pronounce it like Gator A. Mm. So the T and D are pronounced very softly, but we still pronounce. Yeah, T and D are consonants. There's another example regarding vowel. For example, beach. Beach is nice warm beach where you swim, but if you pronounce I sound very short, you will miss something else. Beach, beach is not a good word. It's a female dog. When you curse at somebody, you say beach, okay? But you should be careful when you pronounce beach. If you if you speak too fast, you will sound like bitch. But you should say I want to go to beach. Not bitch, and then another example is a sheet, one sheet of paper, not one shit of paper. Shit means dung from a human and or animals. Yeah, in order to be able to recognize the unique sound of foreign language, you don't have to spend too much money, you don't has have to spend too much time. All you need is. Study three words per day, but you should study three words in depth. What I mean by in depth is, go to an uh, online dictionary, click the button, listen carefully how it is pronounced, and what you do is copy it like a baby. That is the only way you can learn this uh, uh, this unique sound. For example, like American babies, when they learn English, you know how they learn English. When I say "How are you?", but the babies say "Uh, uh, 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 uh." You see, they learn from this. So don't be afraid of making mistakes. And studying vocabulary alone will be very boring. And what you need to do is you need to watch YouTube clip. With a subtitle, English subtitle, then whatever whatever uh, a person says, you will see what they say in the bottom in the subtitle. So what you have to do, even if you don't copy what he says or what she says, what you have to do is you have to copy and speak. That is only way. So the actually, one, yeah. just keep copying what they said in the clip. Yeah, in China. Uh, uh, there's a one very famous English teacher. His uh, teaching style is a crazy English. You know what he did? He kept repeating a word. He kept repeating a phrase, and he imitated what people say in TV. That's how he learned English. Now, you learn how to be able to recognize the unique sound of English and practice speaking. By imitating what people say in YouTube, then 
you, uh, you study the meaning of the words spoken in the YouTube. Then grammar will come naturally. You don't have to study grammar. Once you know the meaning of the words and how to imitate the sounds, then you'll be able to structure a proper sentence on your own. That's how I, how I learned to structure proper sentence in Thai. For example, I'll say, I had a meal. I said I had a meal. Then, pom put wa, pom king kao leo krap. I didn't know how to structure a sentence before, but I sat and learned the unique sound and start imitating sentences. Okay, ค่ะนั่นก็เป็น3 tips ง่ายๆนะคะที่เอ่อมิงอยากจะมาแชร์ไม่ใช่มิงสินางอยากจะมาแชร์ให้เพื่อนๆนะคะเพื่อที่เพื่อนๆจะลองเอาไปฝึกพัฒนาอ่าการพูดภาษาอังกฤษของเพื่อนๆนะคะ So actually that that is or what you want to share right? Yeah, that's even how I learned English when I moved to America. I wasn't able to make any sentences. Okay, ค่ะก็คือนางบอกว่าเนี่ยเป็น tips ที่นางใช้เรียนภาษาอังกฤษตอนที่นางย้ายไปอยู่อเมริกาใหม่ๆนะคะคือตอนนั้นก็ยังเด็กมากประมาณแบบ9ขวบ10ขวบเนาะก็คือถ้าเพื่อนๆคนไหนเนี่ยชอบคลิปนี้นะคะก็อย่าลืมกด subscribe เพื่อเป็นกําลังใจให้มิงนะคะแล้วก็เดี๋ยวมิงจะทําคลิปที่จะมาแชร์แบบทักษะความรู้ต่างๆแบบอะไรคลิปพยายามจะทําคลิปที่มีประโยชน์มาแชร์เพิ่มนะคะก็เดี๋ยวคลิปนี้เนี่ยอีพีนี้ลากันไปลาไปก่อนนะคะสวัสดีค่ะเสียบายบายเสียบาย